right, welcome. We're doing another Burn a Box unboxing today. This month, or rather this season, summer, I exchanged with Kabocha. You can find Kabocha's comic at Shooting Stars, and you can find a link to that below in the description. And she does the wonderful web comic link. So I have not opened this at all. I don't know what is inside. Paper towels, oh boy, just kidding. Oh wow, all right. So, Kabocha, oh wow. Kabocha always sends me so many neat, nice things. So, I have a feeling, oh perfect. I'm gonna go over this stuff with you guys in a little bit, but, ooh, these are cool. I have a feeling this is my burning box. The, these are Mala markers. There are some style file markers, which I was eyeballing. I believe Kabocha got these in a scrawler box, and I was like, oh, let me try them out before you destroy them. So these are going to have to be sent back. Ah, ha, ha, never mind. This is the burn it. So I guess these are not. Maybe they are. We'll see. Mala markers, indeed. And a fidget, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And I hope Kabocha doesn't mind me going through all of this on camera. All right, so quality discount art supply, summer 2017. Lovingly wrapped. Whoa, wait, what the heck? What are these? What on earth? Seriously, what on earth? All right, so we've got more mala markers. And I have no idea what these are. Uh, and it's in like two languages that I don't speak. And the mala markers are from Ikea. And these are also mala markers. So maybe they work together. We'll find out. And then mala <laughs> color pencil. Oh, they're watercolor pencils. Oh no, Sam, you must hate me. And then this is really cute. This is also from Ikea and it's a sketchbook. I'm gonna like this sketchbook. All right, so. This quarter, we searched long and hard to bring you some quality supplies from overseas, including Swedish delights. Mala pens and colored pencils. Confused on how to read that name? Don't worry, so were we. The Mala line, read Mola. The Mola line has some great supplies for artists of any age. Who cares if it was found in the kids section at Ikea? That's where the best cat beds are anyway. That is the truth. Um, Ikea PS 2017. That would be this, I believe. What does the PS stand for? We don't know. With this notebook's colored pages, that concern will quickly slip from your mind as you begin scribbling all of your deepest thoughts and naughtiest drawings on the pages. Wait, did we say naughty? We mean totally safe for work goodies. Sorry there's not a box this month. Like we said, we blew our budget last quarter. So, all right. So I think just the Mala stuff and, well, just the Ikea stuff is really this month's burn it box. So we've got, let me clean the desk a little bit, some mala markers, our description card, and Kabocha is always so much better than I am about uh, description cards. I always, I'm not good about them. Uh, some colored pencils with a sharpener, how quality. And then I don't even know what these are about. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start unraveling things. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. So we need to be careful in how we open this. So kids, get an adult to help you. Don't want to slice a finger. And you also don't want to cut the binding on the book. So this book does not have, oh, the pages are white. I was expecting colored pages. Meh. Even has like a handy little hanging string. Interesting plasticized cover. That should be fun. And we've got our markers. So I'll go ahead and uncap one for you. Oh, super tip-ish. Not bad, not bad. Come on. And then these are watercolor pencils and they don't come with a brush. So what do you expect me to use, Kabocha? My spit? Knowing you, probably. But I'm not, I'm gonna probably use a water brush with these. 
Maybe that's what these are. I don't know what those are. Mola. I don't speak Swedish, so. Or read it, so. Good luck. I guess I could use Google Translate. If I was really feeling ambitious, I would. So, these, yeah. There's no brush in here. There might be instructions. Actually, all of these might come with instructions for all that I know. All right, here's another. I'm actually really, really intrigued by whatever the heck these are. And I, yeah, I know I sound like a little like you know, low beat, low key, but I'm just super in, what the heck? Really, what are these? Are these all black markers? What are these? Well, ooh, that smells like a permanent marker. Are you also? Oh, they have different chisels. That's neat. I mean, they smell like they're alcohol based. Aha! Oh, it shows what kind of line it'll make on the body. That's neat. And then we've got what? Are you white? Are you like a pigment white? You're like a nothing. Nothing comes out. Maybe you're a blender. Then we've got another. These are pretty neat, actually. And then, ooh, a fine point. That's cool. So, I am going to demonstrate these for you guys on camera, but I'm going to disembowel the rest of these goodies. So, Sam sent me some beautiful Ink Drop Cafe cards. And for those of you who don't know what Ink Drop Cafe is, it is the creator collective that I am a member of. And I believe she got these printed at Cat Print and cut them uh, down to size. And uh, you can find out more at inkdropcafe.com. But look how holographic. And then we've got these style file markers, which I just said weren't bad. Double ended. With a brush. That was why I wanted to test it, because it had a brush. And I was like, oh, I'm going to see. And then we've got a fidget monolith. This one's like, this is clearly not fur size, but what I was intrigued by this is it's got um, like silicone stuff. And for me, that's really, ooh, you know, I know this is like a knockoff of the fidget cube, but I kind of like this. This is weird though. This sticks out like a little much for me. I wish somebody would make the this thing. Oh wait, fidget cube does. But some of these buttons actually feel really good. So yes. I know y'all did not pay good money to watch me play with a fidget cube or a fidget fidget. A fidget fidget fidget. And then finally I was sent this was colored with watercolor ground. Good to experiment with. What is oh oh okay, yeah. Um yeah, uh, Kabocha was telling me about this. That's cool. I'm going to play with that. And then I'll be like, send me more! Even though I have watercolor ground myself. And then, oh, how pretty! A teeny tiny super cute notebook with a hollow cover. I am always taking notes and using post-its, so that's going to be handy. And this was a holy crystal decompression magic cube. A little body to satisfy all your hand addictions. Modern people face a variety of emotional states such as stress, frustration, tension, and distraction. Now you only need to move a finger to give yourself... Mmm, phrasing! Now you only need to move a finger to give yourself an effective psychological suggestion. And then just move quickly. Holy Crystal Decompression Magic Cube is full of 12 small trivial organs. You can come and try it. I actually really like the rubbery button a lot. This is fun. Thank you so much, Kabocha. All right, all right. So I know you guys are like, we don't care about all that. We want to see you demonstrate the art supplies. So I need a water brush. I need a water brush. Oh, here's a water brush, a crummy water brush. It really is a crummy water brush though. So first we gotta break this one in. So, oh man, it's it's a very um, tight cover, so it is a little difficult to break in. But we'll see. It's got like a very thin paper, um, a little thicker than say Bible paper. I know that's like 
a thing. It's almost called onion skin, except onion skin is yellow. Um, it's thin and it is gonna take water like garbage, but it might like alcohol marker. So I might include the style files as part of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna swatch these colored pencils. And this is Mola and it's from Ikea. So those of you who are lucky enough, ooh, these aren't actually half bad so far. Those of you lucky enough to have an Ikea, if you are interested in say the cheap art supply challenge, um, this is probably going to end up sorted under my affordable art supply hub page on natosoup.blogspot.com because everything included in Burnet Box is cheap, like dollar store or $2.99 for 20 art supplies, cheap. And it comes with its own sharpener, which is great because these things are awkwardly shaped. I hate to say it, but these are already performing better than those Artist Law watercolor pencils I got in my first sketch box in January 2016. Which y'all can totally watch by checking out the Art Snacks versus Sketch Box playlist because I reviewed more than 12 boxes. I reviewed a lot of Art Snacks, a lot of Sketchbook box, did some of their bonus boxes, did some of their blind boxes, did some of the collections, and uh, you can check that out on that playlist. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, wow, that's sad. These actually activate fairly well. Sweden, Switzerland, Ikea land. How dare you have good art supplies for kids? How dare? Don't you know the little children only deserve terrible art supplies that make them hate art? You'd almost think you want your kids to become creative and artists and make things. Don't you know there's no money in that? Ah, you guys, you guys. These are actually pretty, pretty decent. At least they activate well on this clearly not watercolor paper. I mean, look, the paper is buckling, it is bending. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I have a pad of fluid, the cheapo stuff. So I'll move my Ikea Wonderland sketchbook. And we're gonna do a rainbow blend and then we're gonna do a rainbow blend with water and then we might do some other stuff, who knows. Just wanted to make sure you guys could see me. These actually go down very nicely on this paper. This is disturbing in that I am so used to cheap American art supplies making me want to give up on art and give up on drawing forever because they fight me and these are surprisingly decent. And I know there are many of you who can bend. You're like, you're like art supply benders from the Avatar universe. You can just bend art supplies to your will. And uh, yeah, you can t one can totally do that. Um, one can totally make art supplies do what they wish, but that takes experience and ability. And I don't like it when people give crummy art supplies to little kids and then are like, all right, go on and draw. Because like, they don't know better. So as they get older, they're gonna get frustrated with their inability to replicate what they see people on YouTube or people on DeviantArt or people on Instagram doing, and then they wanna give up when it's like, well, yes, theoretically, you could carve a beautiful statue out of a stump found in your neighbor's garbage and a chainsaw, but that takes like 20 years to get to that level. So maybe it would be easier if you did something, you know, the right materials. Anyway, we're doing this on watercolor paper using a cheap water brush. There is a lot of paint in these which is impressive. A lot of these sort of things are 100% binder. <laughs> no, nah, they're not 100% binder, but they're more binder than they are actual pigment. So there's a lot you can do with these little inexpensive things. And uh, yeah, if I were given these as, I mean, I was giving these as part of like a art supply challenge, but if I was like say doodle date 
and I was trying to wrestle these into submission, it really wouldn't be too much of a challenge. All right, let's turn over a brand new sheet. Move that out of the way for a moment. Now, I do have a confession to make. I lied. I knew Kabocha was going to be including water-based um, markers from Ikea in the box. And the reason I knew this is because Kabocha hinted that these might play nice with water. And I forgot to refill my water brush. That's okay. I've got some other ones. Always be buying more water brushes. All right, so come on, Kabocha, don't lie. So far, not great. Uh, we're gonna try this on that Fluid 100 paper in a minute. Since this is clearly not a watercolor paper and really watercolor markers should not be judged or rather markers should not be judged for water uh, color abilities. I kind of don't even feel like testing the whole thing like this. So, cause I'm gonna test them again anyway. What I wanna do is have some fun and I have a feeling I'm not the only one. I'm going to assemble these into, no, 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 no. A rainbow and see if I can't get some interesting blending marker to marker this way. We'll see. Let's we'll see what we can get, right? Sometimes you can get water-based markers to do that on very uh, thin papers like this, but you have to work kind of quick. I'm feeling these are not going to be, not going to be it. Maybe, maybe Kabocha was just being mean and playing games with my heart. How dare you? Quit playing games with my heart. Quit playing games with my heart. I should have known from the start. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna quote songs at you guys like all evening. Songs from the 90s, no less. I mean, the window for that is so small. Like I think 10 people who are gonna see this video will get it, but Sam will get it. I mean, Kabocha will get it and that's all that matters. All right, so there is no color to color blending with those. Let's move this to the side and let's try it on some fluid 100 watercolor paper. The reason I think this might work better is it's going to hold. Yeah, the markers are going to stay wet and somewhat workable for a little longer. Now these are not, we're not, call these great. Um, Crayola super tips are a bit better for this technique but they work they work better possibly than those Crayola multicultural washable markers I think the problem with those is there's like maybe too much glycerin or there's an additive in there that makes it harder to blend them out in fact I bet we could do some color to color blending on this paper They're not poorly built markers though. Colors are a little interesting, not your typical uh, primaries the way you would expect from an American set. Let's try blending yellow to orange. To red. Feels like these have a lot of glycerin in them. Almost like those up and up markers I reviewed a couple years ago in the blog. So you can almost get, oh, I'm off camera for you guys. You can almost get, um, uh, from the oranges, you can get a pretty smooth transition. From the yellow to the orange, it's a little harder. Okay, so we have left We have left, just gonna give up and turn that on over. We have these interesting markers here, which I wasn't really sure what these were supposed to be. They sort of smell like permanent markers. They've got that like 
Not that you want to go hop in markers, but they've got that like alcohol aroma. So I'm actually going to grab a colorless blender. Scopic colorless blender. And look at that. That is a crazy. These are like poster pens. Legitimately poster pens. But they seem to be built sort of along the same lines as, say, a Crayola in terms of marker body. Sam, I ought to punish you by sending you some uh, some of those stupid Crayola stamp markers. Could probably use these for calligraphy, but it's not even really a black line. It's like a gray line. All right, here's our Copic. If it starts bleaching it out, then we know it's at least react to that. I'm actually going to grab a... So these have a different, it's like a xylene blender. Not reactive to any of those. Okay, let's try this. This has a different type of blender as well. think it's going to react to any of them. So it's not... Ooh. Ah! Look! It's like secret message! S-E-C-R-E-T M-E-S-S-A-G-E -S -S -E. Secret messages! That's cute. That's cute. Okay, so we have tried all the markers that were officially sent. Let's try some of the unofficially sent style file, file markers. Sam said, or Kabocha said they weren't bad, so I wanted to do like a mini test with them. Oh, it's so much easier, so much more affordable to do art supply reviews when you have friends who are also in the cult of traditional. They go down smooth on this paper, but they do not blend at all, or blend very little. And then, since we've got our markers out, Prismacolor, Copic, Chart Pack. Hmm, not really getting a lot of reaction with those either. That's interesting. I wonder if the style file, marker, style file markers, actually, you know, we can also use some 99% isopropyl alcohol. We'll see if it'll react to that. Looks like maybe so. And it could also be the paper. Uh, sometimes weird papers don't react so well. Look, we're getting a reaction right there. So they are alcohol based in some capacity. Um, maybe they're just not willing to react on this paper. So thank you so much, Kabocha, for this month's Burn It box. I hope you are tortured by the box, that, or rather the package, that I'm sending you. Uh, misery does love company. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me demonstrate these wonderful and terrible art supplies. And I hope you guys will look forward to future Burn It box videos. Um, I may take the time to do little reviews of some of these. It really depends on how my summer goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you want to watch more Burn It Box and more art supply reviews here on the channel. So I hope you guys have a great day and hope to see you again really soon.